Lowe's, let's build something together. Now you've probably heard that commercial many times on television, maybe on the internet, but I was thinking to myself, is it possible to build a decent survival kit just going to one store like a Lowe's? Now certainly you're not going to find the highest grade survival knife or maybe the best cordage at that uh, type of store, but I thought, man, if you spend 100, 150 bucks, maybe even up to 200 bucks if you want to make it a little bit more extensive, could you build a survival kit that you could keep in your trunk, keep at your house, uh, that you could have accessible for various situations that might pop up? Now, beyond just survival, say if your car went off the road and you were in the middle of the woods somewhere, beyond that, what about do you have items in your trunk that, so you can be a help to other people who may be in tough situations? So what I did is I got one of these big Lowe's paint buckets, five-gallon buckets, and I went around the store, and I'll give you the total cost at the end, but for around 150 bucks total, I filled this bucket with items that you could use in a survival situation. Let's see what we found at Lowe's. Let's start off by talking price. If you take everything that's shown here on the table, and I'll show you in depth each item, uh, you, the total cost for you would be $206.70. Now, I went to grab this Coast Light because on the rack that it was placed on, this was listed as like, you know, $14 or something. When I actually got a hold of it and rang it out, it was $44.67. So if you took this expensive Coast Light out and just kept that Energizer Light your total would be 162.03. So 162.03 for all these items. So you're talking about around $150, and then that also includes the um, the five gallon bucket and the lid for that as well. So removing this very nice coast light, about $160 give or take. So let me put down the coast light, and then we'll go through each of these items and talk about them. Bug spray, uh, obviously not super expensive, but key if you're stuck in an outdoor situation. Some inexpensive utility gloves. I was looking at the mechanics gloves, which are very nice, but these were less expensive. This is give, give you a little bit of um, warmth if you're in a cold situation, and also obviously protection. So we got those two. I've done a review on this Corona saw. I like it very much, so that's why I grabbed one of these. This is a great cutting tool for any survival situation, or uh, you know, if you just need a, a quality saw, that's a folding saw. This is a good option for you. I did get this Coast knife. Now this is not a um, a full tang knife but it is quite a nice knife it's probably the nicest one I saw though that had a nice size that was of a good quality and Coast makes great products so it is folding it does have that wood inlay there and uh, yeah I think you know around 15 bucks or so for this for this knife so I got that one I also grabbed a hold of this multi-tool and knife set now you've got multiple blades you got the coast blade you have this blade and then there's actually a blade on this and uh, yeah, they had the Leatherman, they had some Gerber tools there, but this was less expensive to get two items uh, for around $20, if I remember correctly. And now you've got a multi-tool for a variety of different purposes. So there's your multi-tool. Make sure it doesn't fall over. Bought this Cobalt Axe uh, wood handle. They also had one with a um, fiberglass handle, and that was pretty nice as well, but just chose to go with the Cobalt wood axe. And again, this does fit in the five gallon container. I couldn't find any lighters until the very last moment when I walked out. They had some of these, and this is just a basic lighter you can get at the checkouts, uh, checkout um, in the checkout aisle. This was only at one of the lows. The other lows I went to didn't have it, so I did do multiple trips. I did got most of the stuff on one trip and then picked up a couple final items. So lighter, um, just at the um, checkout counter. Got this Energizer Pro 3 headlamp. You can see the info down here on the bottom. Um, let's see, 30 lumens, 28 hours, and 23 meters for the uh, for the specs on this item. I didn't get the one with four or five different features. Again, trying to keep the cost a little bit lower. You can get something that's higher end and costs you a little bit more. But I've used uh, other Energizer headlamps, and as long as you get one that's, I think, kind of this level and above, they'll function quite well. Now, again, because I couldn't find the lighter, I got one of these lighters. This is kind of your standard barbecue lighter or, you know, candles, whatever it might be. So I grabbed one of these. And then you also see in the back here, I grabbed a monstrous pack, a three-pack of um, matches. And this was the first thing I saw that was a good option for fire, so I grabbed a hold of that. And then I also got these fire starters, which, as you can see, eliminates traditional lighter fluid. But, you know, if you're in a wet situation, this could actually be a helpful tool. Not sure if these work when they're soaking wet, but better than just having to uh, gather tinder and dry it, whatever it might be. So there's your fire starting option. Always good to have a little uh, sustenance when you head into a survival situation. So 
some Old Boy Oberto Original Beef Jerky. Got some wires for, or some wire for setting traps and kind of a other cordage options if you might want to use some wire. There you go. I got a six foot by eight foot tarp and there were a variety of different sizes. They come huge and small. This is kind of your standard issue tarp. Um, will keep the rain off. You could put it on the ground if you want to, uh, you know, keep yourself off the moisture. So there's another, there's your uh, good option for your shelter or covering. Looking at the other half of the table here, got a very small first aid kit, Johnson & Johnson. This is also available just when you're checking out. You can grab one of these. And uh, that's got some very basic stuff in it, but um, you've also got duct tape in the back there, which you can use for other uh, first aid purposes. So we have that. We have a carpentry pencil, so just sharpen that up. And then you've got a writing utensil. Also got a two-pack of Sharpies as well for writing, and that's good because that'll obviously stay longer than just a pencil will. This was available, I think, in the you know the dollar ninety nine bin. It's just a very simple um, mock Swiss Army knife. Um, but the cool thing about it is that it does come with tweezers, which are, can be very helpful if you uh, you can see up top here the tweezers and the um, toothpick. Very helpful if you have to remove a splinter, or get something out of your skin, whatever it might be. So another cutting option there. I grabbed three of these Tomcat uh, rat traps, and this is good for catching small game squirrels, things like that. So. Now you've got a way to, to hunt and just, you know, leave and you can come back and hopefully you'll have caught something. Big massive roll of duct tape. You can see this is duct tape and I actually got a comment on another video. People saying no, it actually originally is duct tape. But as you can see, regardless of what the official name was uh, when it all started, this is good for HVAC. So this is high quality duct tape. I got this um, as my container. You know, if you had to cook, you had to boil water, whatever it might be. Now, this is made for paint, so you got to be careful if there's you know any kind of lining. I didn't go to, into all the detail to examine that. But now I do have a container if I had to carry water or something like that. Um, in a survival situation, yeah, ultimately you want stainless steel that was created for carrying water. But having some sort of container is a key thing, so I got this. And it was very inexpensive, I think $3. Uh, so here you, get, you also have a uh, option to carry other things that you might want on your uh, if you're in a survival situation. So... Finally, these last two items, uh, Blue Hawk, who also makes the um, who also makes the tarp, makes this, and I'll show you the specs here. So it's 60 pound and it's 75 feet, and this one is 60 pound and 75 feet as well. So I got two of these. You have the uh, spools to roll them up on, which is nice, and it's not paracord, but it does give you a variety of options. As you can see, it's weaved together, so you could split this apart and also use this for you know smaller line if you needed. To. But now I've got 150 feet of 60 pound, uh, 60 pound test. You could get other stronger, larger rope, but this was easy to put in the uh, container and lightweight. As you can see, it's listed here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but listed for recreational use. This is not rock climbing rope, obviously. So here you have it, your Lowe's survival bucket. On the downside, you don't have those high end survival survival. So here you have it, your Lowe's survival bucket. Now on the downside of this, you don't have those high-end survival items that you might like, so you may have to invest in a more expensive survival knife or other survival items. On the positive side, you can get items that are going to work. You can get it relatively uh, for a relatively inexpensive price between $150 and $200, and you can get it all in one place. So that's the positive side. This was kind of a fun experiment for me to uh, to do, but let's let's get the discussion going. If you could like the video, that'd be great. If you could subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids, that'd be great. And then leave questions, leave comments. Hey, what do you like? What would you change? What would you add? What would you take away? And um, yeah, let's get that discussion going as we talk about the Lowe's survival bucket. As always, thanks for watching the video. We've got a lot more videos coming soon. Take care.